On the 7th of December 2001, 31-year-old Janine Vaughan was seen getting into a red car around 4am on Keppel Street in the New South Wales country town of Bathurst. She hasn't been seen since. Seven times Walkley Award winning investigative journalist and the Australian's National Chief Correspondent, Hedley Thomas, is seeking to uncover exactly what happened to Janine. And Hedley, you will recall, well, he's no stranger to chasing the truth. His last podcast, The Teacher's Pet, investigating the disappearance of Lynette Dawson, was downloaded more than 52 million times. I listened to absolutely every episode as it unfolded, and I've no doubt if he's picked up this case, it's a mystery he's determined to solve. Hedley Thomas joins me now. We can't say much about the teacher's pet, Hedley, because that the disappearance of Lynette Dawson is now the subject of a legal action. Um, but immediately in the aftermath of that podcast, I'm told you were approached or, or deluged, I think is how we better describe it, by a lot of people wanting you to take up the case of a missing person in their lives. That can't have been easy. Why, out of all of the cases that came across your desk, did you choose this one? Yeah, hi. Thanks, Peter, and thanks for having me. You've been a great supporter. Look, uh, when um, the teacher's pet finished, uh, I was contacted by the families of um, many missing people or people who, who had uh, met with foul play in cases that hadn't been solved. Um, desperate uh, sisters, brothers, children, parents wanting answers and uh, hoping that uh, an airing of their case might lead to those. And it's really hard to, to say no to, to most of the people who contact you because every case is, is full of merit. Uh, I, I chose to do this one because I think it can be solved. Uh, Janine Vaughan's family uh, is so relentlessly determined to get to the truth. They've tried for years to learn what happened to their sister. Uh, it's a case that has split a country town uh, with lots of finger pointing and it's ruined reputations. I think in some cases, very unfairly, um, people who have been blamed over Janine's disappearance, but with uh, very little evidence to support that that blame and finger pointing. And I think that uh, we could possibly do a great public service and help a family uh, if mm. we can uncover something new about this case. Now, what happened last time, which I, I don't know that everyone understands, my viewers may not understand, that in Teacher's Pet, you went through a few of the episodes, but you let them sort of sit out there because the episodes caused people to remember things they perhaps hadn't realised or said to police at the time. More material and evidence came forward and the case sort of developed as you went along in the podcast series. Now, I'm told you're doing the same thing here with Night Driver, and that's the name of the podcast, in the hope it jogs people's memories. Um, there's a lot of talk, you know, that old school journalism is on its way out, but this sort of just highlights why, you know, the role that you have, an investigative journalist, is so, so important. Yeah, Peter, I think this this type of um, journalism has so much potential. You know, lots of media outlets have been doing it tough. Many journalists, um, uh, unfortunately, have been lost to the craft. But, but with this, and even through a pandemic, um, you just need a good telephone connection to ring someone, to ask to, to record an interview with them. And uh, you're right, the, the, the episodes will, will roll out weekly. Um, the Night Driver uh, is going to involve at least eight episodes. And I'm hoping that people who have been perhaps um, uh, guiltily keeping secrets in Bathurst mm. and surrounding Bathurst will come forward finally. There's something about the voices in these kinds of, of, of uh, stories and hearing the voices and hearing the very authentic, raw emotion of people like uh, Janine's sister and, and, and father and friends and, and others who have all been deeply affected. And, and I think that, um, it, that they deserve to know the truth. Some people know what happened to Janine uh, she was out clubbing with friends. She got into a red car. It had to be a car driven by somebody she knew. And that person's probably uh, was then a local, may still be a local. And someone's going to hopefully give them up or tell us more about that so that we can at least ask some hard questions.